I came to prison five months after I came back from Iraq. Being in the military and wearing a uniform, to fall from grace so much to where I'm at wearing prison grace, you, know, you can't even seem to, you can't even, you can never think you're gonna be in prison. Our goal here in this program is to help restore the honor and the pride that you felt in the military and restore that while you're incarcerated and let you work through some of the issues you have, give them the, the resources that they, that they need, access the resources they need, and give them the opportunity to work through that so they can restore that honor in their life and they can leave here prepared for the streets. The mission here is to give guys an opportunity to build themselves back up again into a position so that whenever they can, whenever they leave out of here and get to the streets, they'll be able to stand on their own two feet. They just provide you a healthy environment. It's the structure is what I was missing in my life. So uh, we pretty much govern ourselves down there. We have leadership. Uh, we have three platoons. And in each platoon, you've got an assistant platoon leader, a platoon leader. They go above and beyond what is expected of them. So they kind of just mentor the guys that are in their unit. All the other positions of leadership have their individual responsibilities for, you know, GI, cleaning the wing, posting and retrieving the colors every day, lawn maintenance. Some of those might sound like little things, but what they do is they get you in the habit of um, being independent and taking care of yourself again. Easy is what I always look for. I'm not looking for easy anymore. You know, I'm looking for practical right now. And, you know, being over here is practical. I'm a veteran, you know, I got a little bit of experience in being a soldier. I got a little bit of experience in being in a structured environment. The goal is to get them engaged in services as quickly as possible when they leave, so that hopefully they're not going to have to come back here if they have resources and support. When they are three to six months from release, then I can meet with them and kind of figure out what their treatment needs are going to be, whether that's, you know, they need assistance with employment, they want primary care, mental health care, PTSD treatment, whatever those needs are. Just being able to connect with them before they're released, it's hugely important because like I said, then we can start wrapping services around them before they're actually gone. A lot of veterans who are anywhere, whether it's incarcerated or not, they don't even know some of the benefits that they're eligible for. I come out now once a month, I sit down with the veterans and I work with them just like I would with a person on the streets. Guys who are incarcerated have made a mistake. We can help them to get over that mistake and not let them be labeled as that for the rest of their lives. If we want to label them for the rest of their lives, let us label them as the veteran, not as the inmate.